Some people are intimidated when it comes to shucking oysters, but it really is a simple process if you break it down into a couple of steps. When you get them home, you can rinse them under cold water to rinse off any bit of debris. Um, when you're ready to shuck, bring them out, have your plate ready to go, and dive into it. I have here in front of me two different styles of oyster, although they are the same species, just raised in different parts of the harbor. One of these is a wild dragged oyster, and the other one is a farmed oyster. You can see that the size tends to be a little bit different. The wild oysters are, tend to be a little bit fatter, uh, a little bit bigger, but they're both very delicious. When you're shucking, it also comes down to your utensils. I have two different types of knives. One has a pointed straight edge, and the other one has a curved tipped edge. For this demonstration, we're gonna be using the curved tipped knife because it's easier when you're shucking from the hinge. So this is the hinge technique. Most important, wear a glove. I like using a latex glove, but for beginners, it doesn't hurt to put on something a little bit more uh, substantial like a rubber glove. Also, it's nice to have a towel. So I'm gonna show you how to do this first when you hold it in your hand, and then we're gonna use the towel. What you do is you take the oyster with the cup side down, hold it firmly in your hand with the oyster knife, tip up, I'm gonna go into the hinge, I'm gonna free up a little bit of the debris so I can find a firm purchase. Once I find that purchase, I'm not forcing the knife into the oyster, I'm just twisting upwards, and you'll watch the oyster open as I do this. You see that, it just separated slightly. Now there's a muscle that runs from the top of the oyster to the bottom of the oyster, right about here. I wanna get into that muscle without disturbing the rest of the oyster body itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pry the shell up a tiny bit, keep my knife on the right side of the oyster, slide it up and move it from right to left, and I'm cutting that muscle. See right there, I just cut that muscle. And it, it should come off clean like that. Now you can see there's that muscle. I need to cut that muscle again from the, from the bottom. I'm gonna start on the right, I move to the left, I free it up. Now the oyster is completely free. I'll check it for any little bit of shell or debris. Looks pretty clean, pretty nice. And there you go, there's the shocked oyster. Oh, that was really good. Now I'm gonna show you how to shuck an oyster with the towel. It's a little bit safer, but it's a little bit more difficult uh, until you really get the hang of, of how the oyster works. So take your towel, any old dish towel will do, fold it in half, place the oyster down on the edge of it, fold the towel over. Now I'm gonna use the palm of my hand to press down. What we're doing here is simply holding the oyster in place so that it doesn't slip away. So what I do is I find a, a purchase on the hinge and I'm gonna press down and twist the oyster until that top shell pops. You can see it just opened up a little bit. Okay, once you get to there, take the oyster out of there, put it in your hand. Again, you should have a glove on because it's always safe to wear a glove. But this is now, there's no force needed because the oyster is open. So don't be afraid to go to your local market, buy some oysters, and play around with them a little bit. If you want to start shucking, you can shuck them. If you want to throw them in the oven or on the grill. But they're a wonderful species. They actually clean our environment. They clean our harbors. They're a sustainable product. They're a local product. Uh, you can support your local economy by going out and buying oysters.